When he reached what felt like his bursting point, he took Huff and a few others to the edge of the Groom Mountains to see the flights for themselves. A total of five witnesses on two consecutive weeks managed to dodge security patrols long enough to see the strange glowing object lift above the mountain. Uh, it came up above the same mountain. It moved around. It did a step move. It actually went up in the air like this and hovered, then dropped way down. Then it just floated around and cruised around, and then it started coming up the mountain range. This home videotape was recorded during one of the trips to the Groom Mountains. Okay. Good luck. No, what? Did you see that move it did? No, I didn't. It because went like I kept doing... Oh, Whoa! Whoa, look how bright it's getting! Look at it now. It's getting bright. Not here, bright hold. enough for me to get the sun of the... Here, hold on, right here. Are you, are you there? No. It is bright right now. Admittedly, the tape proves very little by itself because with the distance and darkness, there are no reference points other than the alleged flying disc. But Lazar's information about the time and location of the test flights proved correct, not once, but twice. That, according to our off-camera interviews with each of the other witnesses.